hi everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is nancy and if you're new to my channel kindly subscribe share and like my videos and also put the notification bell to be notified when i upload new videos so in our previous tutorial i explained how i made a half scale basic bodies block but today's tutorial will be on how to open the shoulder that on the front panel and on how to add allowances to the half scale block so let's get started this is the front panel why this is for the back panel so if you watch the previous tutorial we got to know that the front panel is longer than the back panel so to make the length of the front panel equal to the back panel we need to work on the darts which is on just the front panel so if you are closing a dart one dart has to be opened for it to be properly balanced for instance if i'm to close the bust dart then i have to open the waist dart or if i'm closing both the bust dart or the waist dart then i need to open the shoulder dart so i'll go ahead to show you how to open your shoulder dart the next step is to get the midpoint of the shoulder slope to extend this point to the bust point The next step is to open the shoulder dart to the bust point. And for the shoulder dart to be properly open, I need to close the bust dart. So I'm just going to fold the dart this way to tape it. So that is it on opening the shoulder that so i'll be showing you how to add allowances to the pattern i have a plain sheet here so i'm going to place the front panel on it to trace out the edges of the pattern so for the straight sides of this pattern i'll place the ruler inward to rule the straight lines And for the curved sides of this pattern, I'll be making some dotted lines. To mark the waist that i'll place a finger on the top of the waist that to mark a dot below the pattern Now I'm going to use the curve ruler to connect the curve dotted lines together.
all right guys so you can see that we have exactly the same pattern on this new sheet the only difference now is just to add allowances to the side now i'll place the tape in between the two shoulders to mark the midpoint of the shoulder spacing to connect this point to the bust point in form of a straight line which will be half inch higher than the shoulder slope so in order to get a proper dart around this shoulder opening you need to fold this part of the shoulder line So make sure you place it on the other line and when i open this up i would have a triangle shape at the top since this is a basic bodice you can sew in the shoulder that or if you're not comfortable with that maybe you don't want it to purge a little you can at least cut it out then sew it so now to add our sewing allowances around this i'll be using some dotted lines so the seam allowance we need on the shoulder top is half inch and we also need half inch for the round arm o now for the side you can decide to use one inch or two inches depending on how wide you want the seam allowance to be at the side but I'll be making use of just one inch but in a situation whereby you just want to keep this pattern you don't need to add any allowances at all so when you are ready to use it you can just place it on the fabric to add the necessary allowances you need by the sides now for the length of this block i'm going to add one inch seam allowance So now because the center front is going to be on fold, we don't need to add any seam allowance at all on the center front. So where we need to add allowances is on the neck depth which is half inch. and on the shoulder which is also half inch for joining now i'm going to use the straight ruler to trace the shoulder line and i'll use the curved driller to trace the arm o curve Obviously, you'll notice that I didn't complete the dart here just because I want to make sure that after securing the waist that it doesn't affect the length or the shape of the waistline.
Now I'm going to extend the dots to the seam allowance. And to divide the dots into two. Extending that line half inch below the waist dot and to connect it in form of a triangle. So after securing the waist dot, the waistline will become equal and the length of the front panel will be the same with the back panel. The next step is to also add seam allowance to the shoulder dot. To achieve this, I'll place the tip 1.5 inches above the nipple point and half inch by the side of the shoulder as shown to connect the three points together. The next step is to make sure that the length of the shoulder that is also on the same level with the shoulder slope. But I'm so sorry that I missed that clip. So that is all for the front panel. It's not complicated. All you have to do is just keep practicing. By the time you do it twice, you get used to it. And I'm sure you will love the effect. So um, the next step is just to cut it out and place it on the fabric, but I won't be doing that. So I just want to show you how effective this dart is. So I folded the shoulder dart and I used the tip to secure it. And I'm also going to fold the waist dart to use the tip to secure it. So I've met people saying that they can't make a dress or a top without using a bustier cut or a breast cut because it ends up pressing the client's bust. So that is not true because you can actually use this method to create a lovely dress even without padding it. So there are some fabric that you don't have to pad them. You just have to make them simple like a shift dress. But you also want it to have this beautiful fitting. So you can actually use this method to achieve that. And for the back pattern, I'm also going to repeat the same process. But here, since we don't have a bust that, it won't be stressful as compared to what we did for the front pattern. So I placed the pattern paper on a new sheet and I marked a seam allowance of half inch on the neck depth. And above the shoulder, for the joining and also half inch on the arm o curve now for the side seam i'll be marking one inch since i used one inch for the side seam of the front panel and I'll also be marking one inch to increase the length. So since this is the back panel, and for the center back of this pattern, a zipper will be attached to it. So in this case, you should have a zipper allowance of half inch. But if you are to use a lining to turn the fabric, you can make use of a zipper allowance of 1.5 inches. So by the time you secure it, it becomes 1 inch. The next step is to connect all points together.
So the final step is to mark the waist that. Alright guys, thanks for watching to the very end. I hope this tutorial was helpful. You should give it a try and keep practicing because we're going to use this method to achieve a lot of complicated styles. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Nancy. You are welcome. Kindly subscribe, share and like my videos and also put on your notification bell to be notified when I upload new tutorials. Thank you.